We all know that intoxicating feeling when you're laughing so much your stomach hurts, or that jittery excitement where you can barely contain yourself, or the euphoric feeling that you've won and you're on top of the world. So how can we hack our brains to feel like this more often? There isn't one defined brain area that's responsible for happiness. The brain is complex, and authentic happiness is not made by a single chemical alone. The chemicals in the brain that contribute to well-being and happiness are classified as dose, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. If you're in a good mood, you've got serotonin to thank, and if you're in a bad mood, you've got serotonin to blame. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter, sometimes called the happy chemical, due to its role in regulating mood. But serotonin isn't just released to make us feel good, it's also associated with a wide range of functions, including memory, learning, appetite, and sleep. People with higher levels of serotonin often report being happier than those with lower levels of serotonin and also demonstrate higher levels of self-esteem. An 80-year study by a team of scientists at Harvard University following hundreds of men found that the happiest and healthiest were those who cultivated a network of strong relationships. The study found that wealth, genetics, social class and IQ are not as important to longevity and happiness as a person's relationships with their friends, family and community. Exposure to natural light is thought to boost the amount of serotonin available in the brain. Bright light exposure is a standard treatment for seasonal depression, but a few studies also suggest that it's an effective treatment for non-seasonal depression. You can also get special lamps called light boxes, which emulate sunshine and can help regulate your serotonin production. It's also worth mentioning that around 90% of serotonin is produced in the gut. Prolonged hunger causes serotonin levels to drop, which is one of the reasons why we can get angry when we're hungry, also known as being hangry. So packing a snack for the day will help keep those serotonin levels up. Dopamine functions as a hormone and a neurotransmitter. It affects your ability to concentrate, focus, remember information, and impacts your quality of sleep. The brain includes several distinct dopamine pathways, one of which plays a major role in the motivational component of reward-motivated behavior. For this reason, dopamine is often called the reward hormone. Your body often releases dopamine after you've reached a goal, even a small one. The chemical is broadly spread through the brain by specialized nerve cells when you achieve some kind of goal, leaving you feeling invigorated and energized. We all know that exercise releases those feel-good chemicals. What you might not know is that repetitive exercise will strengthen the dopamine pathways, creating a better hit each time. Positive social stimuli can result in the release of dopamine in a similar way to cocaine, reinforcing the link between behavior and reward. So in other words, exercising regularly with an encouraging gym buddy or trainer will really boost those dopamine levels. Social stimuli is not just limited to exercise though. Any activity that is goal oriented can be enhanced with an encouraging social environment. Learning a new language or skill, or simply studying for a test, can become more enjoyable when done with positive reinforcement. With just a touch of our fingertips, smartphones give us non-stop access to social stimuli, although not all of it is positive. In fact, several studies have drawn a link between social media usage and depression, anxiety, and loneliness. Most social media platforms make their money by keeping you engaged long enough to see adverts, and the social media giants have learned different tricks to hack your brain. More on how they do this will be revealed in an upcoming video. The neurotransmitter oxytocin, also called the cuddle hormone or love hormone, enhances feelings of empathy and creates intimacy and trust. It plays a role in social bonding, and it's best known for being released during orgasm and in large amounts during labor. We get a hit of oxytocin whenever we're being intimate or bonding with someone, including when petting a dog, hugging someone, or giving a loved one a gift. Endorphins are chemicals that act as natural painkillers in the brain. They also regulate the fight or flight response, 
and are released during exercise. Exercise is a great way to get your endorphins and dopamine flowing, but endorphins are also released whenever you're doing something you find scary, such as watching a scary movie or riding a roller coaster. Another way to get that runner's high combo of endorphins and dopamine is to eat spicy food. Eating something like a chili pepper will get your brain releasing those feel-good chemicals in order to numb the pain. Current research suggests that positive emotions are good for our health, which means regularly doing things that make us happy don't just feel good, they're actually good for us too. So if you need an excuse to invite a friend over for a scary movie and a spicy curry, science has got you covered. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and leave us a comment telling us what science topic you'd like us to cover next.